Welcome to this short video in which I show you how I made this piece of decorative paper using acrylic inks and paper. This is really one of the simplest ways I know of making decorative paper that you can use in bookbinding and which I use to make this small notebook that I demonstrate in my series on case binding. For this project I'm going to be using a sheet of 160 gram paper, it's pretty cheap paper, uh, which is in a short grain and I'm going to be using some Dala acrylic paint, it's a local South African brand but you can really use any good acrylic paint um, and I'll put some links below for those that are online. Um, and it's really very simple and playful. Basically going to start, oh yes, and then I'm also going to be using some cardboard, just bits of scrap cardboard. Um, and I start by putting blobs of paint on. I'm using blue and black and silver, really because I'm running out and I need to organize to get some other colors. I'm going to be working inside of the sheet, basically because I'm too lazy to put anything else underneath. So I'll have a, a margin. And then I basically just going to be playing around with the paint. This doesn't require any great artistic skill. It's almost like finger painting, um, so it's slightly less messy. I may need a bit more paint, in which case I'll uh, put some on. And another bit of silver. You can always add bits more at the end. Um, yes, and really just smear. Um, you will find that the um, the piece of whatever that you use. And the directions that you smear in will affect the the design or rather the outcome. Um, and you can play around with that using different textures. Um, so I'm basically wanting to do this so that it's about A4 on the inside so that it will be big enough for a cover for an A6 book. It will give us some margin to play with. You see, so I've been smearing, but now I can do that. A little bit dark in places. There's a bit. Um, and you can really let your creativity go wild. You could also um, actually draw on there, although I'm not going to now. A little bit more silver down. I'm going to use another piece of this. And I may be tempted to think that this looks a total mess, but it can actually form a, a very attractive cover. Um, try and, and um, ensure that 
They aren't in big lumps because they're rockets. First. And you can see that the, the square edge of the cardboard is um, visible. So what you could do is use some other sort of shape. This is just a little piece of leather, but if I wanted to, I could also press it down. No, that's not really working. It, it creates a sort of a texture. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of that on. I'm certainly not a not an artist and this is no great work of art but it will form a fairly acceptable cover right and this is the finished product which still needs to dry but once it is I'll proceed to the next step and it will become a book cover if you found this video helpful then please like it and share it and please also follow my channel to receive updates on other methods of paper decorating or general videos on bookbinding.